This is James from Gamefront with a Sleeping Dogs Health Shrine Collectible Guide. In this video, we're going to find all 10 of the Aberdeen Health Shrines. Uh, the first one is kind of tricky to find, so I've got this uh, the driving part included. Um, and yes, drive down the stairs. It may seem dangerous, but if you're not willing to take risks, then you're not willing to succeed. Um, and down here, hidden be between some cargo boxes, you're going to find a shiny health shrine. But let's take a look at the map so there's no confusion. I like to do this just to give people several different visual uh, references of how to find it. I hope you appreciate it. Um, and, and for the moment, let me just mention that if you're upset uh, that you can't uh, find these health shrines um, on your own, it's okay. Lots of people struggle. I'm an expert. I'm here to help you. So we're going to look at the next health shrine, which is, I would say, the most east, like the east-north area of Aberdeen. Uh, it's also pretty out in the open, so we didn't need to really show much of the drive there. Look how simple that is. It's pretty simple. Uh, and for the record, if you wanted to watch the full playthrough, you can find it. It's There's a playlist of uh, sleeping dogs. You can find that on YouTube. And here's the third health shrine. It's pretty much smack dab in the middle of Aberdeen. I'm really hoping that I'm pronouncing Aberdeen correctly. Otherwise, every time I say Aberdeen, someone's driving a nail further and further into their eardrums, which is dangerous. So don't put any objects in your ear, no matter how I pronounce Aberdeen. Uh, so that was the center one. And now we're going to head to the west side of Aberdeen. It's not too far, but we are going to keep the visual just because of uh, the fact that this is not really on the map of a, a street. It's upstairs. So I kind of wanted to show you how I got there from the previous one. It's so simple. I would suggest hitting these in a row. See? There it is. But it's upstairs. You can't really see it from here, but I'll give you a better angle. I'll give you a real good angle. It's the right angle. And I don't mean 90 degrees. I mean, right in front of it, looking directly at it. Here we go. It's a health shrine, and it is shining. And over the edge we go now. Now, the next health shrine is also pretty close. It's a straight shoot going east on the road just slightly south of here. Watch out for the people. They have a death wish. Otherwise, they'd know to lock themselves in their house and turn off the lights and not be in public. Anybody out in the streets knows the risks. There's a maniac loose. Oops. Hope he didn't have a family. So the cops come, but I know a trick called editing. Um, but before we edit away, let's take a look right there. It's This is also pretty close to the center of Ab Aberdeen. Um, let's get that health shrine. And presto, changeo! No cop serenos, but I get a cop car. It's a secret code. I'll, treat, uh, I'll teach it to you later. So now the next one is actually probably the trickiest of Aberdeen. You drive down this little uh, Bay Street area. And uh, then you're going to turn. Be careful. This bridge can handle a car, but it is narrow. Uh, there's nice parking available, though, right in the water. Put it into the big drink. And so this trick here, you have to climb and jump to the roof. I've checked. There's no stairs. There's no ladder. It takes some real serious jumping, and those boxes don't make it easy. And if you fall, don't feel bad. I fell a couple times. Wasn't going to show it, though. And we're really wrapping it up soon. Like, there's only, there's only, uh, how many more left? There's four more. There's four more health shrines. And then this amazing journey we've been on will be over. I know. There's more than one reason for a box of Kleenex while you're using the internet. Some is to wipe away the tears. Uh, and we can run to the next one also. It is, uh... It's pretty close. I did cut it because I don't feel like showing you the entire run. It's a straight jog if you just follow the edge of the water. Um, and then then obviously move along and find it here. I mean, you can't miss it. You could. 
that's why you're watching a walkthrough. You shouldn't be able to miss it now that you've seen me do it. And now we're going to head across the water. You could take the bridge, I bet. I didn't. I haven't tried. Maybe there's some sort of a blockade on it. But I took an opportunity to take a take myself out in the boat. I wanted to be the man on the boat. And I am. Now this boat's a little heavy, so it doesn't move as fast as I'd like it to. But it does the trick. It cuts corners. It's a shortcut. Luckily, you can just get on out of the water at the docks here. Bless you, Mitch. Um, yeah, and just kind of navigate yourself. I'm sure that there's a thousand ways you can get back to land. Um, none of them as inefficient as the one I'm showing here. But you know, you know the drill. Right around this corner, a shiny health shrine. I would say that is uh, of the north. Well, I w that's pretty much the center of the Aberdeen Island. I don't know. It's hard to say what's the center because it feels so separated. It feels so separated. Uh, and then if you just drive around the road that kind of circles that island, on the southern end of that road, you're going to find... The second to last health shrine we're collecting. Here it is. Look at that. I guess it's not the most south side, but it's, it's like southwest. And this final one is tricky. So we headed all the way back to the docks. We're back to where we took the giant boat over here. And now we're going we're gonna to go around the island because you can't just climb the edge wall to get to the last one. Um, they make it impossible. But I'm not going to settle for one of those giant boats. I want some speed. A speed boat. So, if you try to go around the inside area, you're going to get just stuck. I mean, there's no exit. So you got to kind of go along the bridge, make a big old loop around. When we get to see a sunrise, I believe. Sunrise on Hong Kong Island. No. Aberdeen. Do a quick check-in, make sure we're going the right direction. See, that's where we're headed. Trust me, we're going to make it there. And as long as you stay along the shore, you can't really miss it, because you'll run into the building when you drive along the shore. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you got yourself every single one of these health shrines. I have a feeling we're all going to be overpowered now. Good luck, bad guys. I know karate and am nearly immortal. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm, trophy.